and I'm Splash. And without us, you, him, them, this, and that wouldn't be there. You see, feel, and use us every single day. But sometimes we wonder if everybody knows how special we are. Because not everyone is nice to us or treats us with respect. And that's not very wise. Because when we don't show up, everybody's in big trouble. Come on, don't be so hard on them. Let's make their day. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. All about a Saturday night. Woo! A rough dub, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was alright. Well, I stepped out the tub, put my feet on the floor. I wrapped the towel around and I opened the door. And in a splish splash, I jumped back in the bath. Well, I was out and know there was a party going on. There was a splishing and a splash. Oh, wake up, world. Time to get going. Hey, recognize the ritual? You or your mom and dad? Shh. There we go. La di da di da, la di da di da. This is fun, and it makes me smell nice too. La di da di da. And don't forget to brush your teeth. Ooh, nice and clean. Ooh. This is smart. When you don't have that much of me, this is a way to do it. Clean water is important because you have to clean yourself and you use it when you go to the bathroom. Did you know that dirty water is the most dangerous thing for children all over the world? It causes more diseases and deaths than anything else. Nearly 2 million children die every year from diarrheal diseases alone. This is because latrines and water for hand washing are lacking, especially in poorer communities. That's why it's also important to learn what you should and shouldn't do with the water. And children get lessons all over the world. In some dry countries, water is really scarce, so people have to learn how to do as much as they can with as little water as possible. On other places in the world, technical wonders make it possible to transport water to cities in dry areas. But there it is also important that people learn not to waste water, in the houses and gardens for instance. And then there are countries where the most valuable lessons to learn have to do with hygiene and health. Everybody has to take care that they wash their hands with clean water and stay away from water that is polluted with waste from people, farms or factories. In areas like these, building new and clean latrines means a big step forward. Did you know that one gram of human waste can contain 10 million viruses and 1 million bacteria? Clean latrines help to make the risk smaller. And when you have a small bathroom and have to use water wisely, use every square and every drop. Okay, okay, I guess we're clean now. When washing dishes by hand, don't let the water run while rinsing. Fill one sink with wash water and the other with rinse water. Only run your washing machine and dishwasher when they are full. And keep a pitcher of water in the refrigerator or in the freezer to keep it cold. This is better than keeping the tap running until the water gets cold. You don't see me, but I'm 70% of your body. Now that's a lot. And the more you play or work, the more you need of me. So don't forget to drink enough. And not just you, it's for everyone. Water runs through the world like a river. You see us as rain, ice or drinks, but most of us are invisible. We flow through your bodies everywhere. We are your best friends. Did you know that?
Unfortunately, you can only use fresh water, like us. When you look at planet Earth from a distance, you can see a lot of blue stuff. So do you think there's plenty of water? But most of the blue is salt water, almost 98%. Just a little, little bit is fresh water. So that's why everybody should really take good care of us. Woo! And hop! All living organisms and creatures depend on us. Without water, there wouldn't be any people, animals, plants, or, well, no nothing. What makes me sad sometimes is that we can't always be where we're needed. I always hope that people take us everywhere and let us do our thing. In some places it just doesn't rain enough, so people really have to be careful with the use of water. Or they have to walk for miles and miles to get to us, and that's too bad. And sometimes there's just too much of us, and people have to deal with that too. Too much rain can make rivers uncontrollable. In situations like these, it's even more important to keep us clean. Just getting wet never hurt anybody, but when we're not clean, you better wash out. Take short showers. Before you take a shower, install a low-flow shower head. They aren't expensive and you can make a huge difference in your water consumption. Turn off the water while you brush your teeth, shave, etc. Fill a milk bottle with water and put it in the toilet system. This reduces the water used for flushing by 45 litres every day. In poor countries, about 90% of the sewage and 70% of the water used by factories is not treated properly before it is released again. And that's really terrible. Did you know that right now half of all the hospital beds in the world are occupied by people that suffer from an illness they're caught because of polluted water? We don't want to make anybody ill. So please, keep us clean. We only want to make everyone better. But it's not all bad. All over the world, people also learn to respect us and that they can sometimes find us in unexpected places. You'd be surprised how clever people are when they want to find water. Like the old Romans in Italy, who were the first ones in Europe that designed aqueducts. That way, they could get water from the mountains to the fountains of their cities. And in Australia, where water scarcity is a daily problem in many areas, the old wisdom of Aboriginals is very impressive. It tells them where to find water in the ground and how they can dig it up with their hands. Talk about clever! And nowadays, when and where people have the money, they use the most modern technology to copy the techniques of the old Romans. These are the aqueducts of our times. Water, water, everybody wants a piece of us. You know what I think is the biggest proof of how special water is? All those places where they think we're holy. Yes, holy! Like this old farming ritual in Indonesia, where they use us to bless the harvest. There is no religion in the world that doesn't respect the value of water. Now that should make people think. We're holy, we're good, but we also have to work. Yep, we've got to make sure that you people have food, like meat. All that cattle has to eat, don't they? So who do you think makes the crops grow so you can feed all those cows? And all the crops that are harvested in the world, we have to take care of those too. Did you know that 70% of all the available fresh water in the world is used by farmers? 
It is not that much of a surprise, because that is where all our food comes from. That means that you have to be clever about how you use us too. Like this farmer, who has found a way to water us closer to the ground, so the sun won't make us disappear like it used to do. This is real high-tech stuff. <laughs> Or if you don't have all this technology, this is also very smart. These farmers in Africa use long hoses with little holes in them. This way, they get us precisely on the spot where we have to do our jobs, so no water is wasted. And in modern greenhouses like this one, they even link us to a computer. Talk about efficiency! I prefer the rice fields. I love watering them. The next time you eat rice, think of us, will you? Everything relates to water. It makes up many of your fruits and vegetables. Be conscious every day of how important water is in all elements in your life. Make smart choices in your daily life. Eat products that come from agriculture that respects the environment and use minimal amounts of pesticides, chemicals and less water. We work on your food, but also on all your stuff. Ever thought about that? Take metal. From the time people needed metal for making swords or plows, for instance, they needed water to cool down the hot iron. Like this. Nowadays, this is still the same, though the swords have been replaced by heavier metal bars. It's really big business now, but still, it wouldn't work if we weren't so cool. And what about paper? Look around you, it's everywhere, and it wouldn't be there without us. Sure, they get the wood from the trees, that we gave water by the way, but to change the wood into paper, they need us again. So at the end of the day, it's really us that you're reading, isn't it? And cars, of course, where would they be without us? We clean them, coat them, and cool them off. With all their factory stuff going on, all those companies better make sure that they clean us properly. And they can, if they want to, they can use systems to filter all the bad stuff out of us. So we make the food grow, and we're in the food. All that stuff you buy on a market or in a store, that's us. And when you start cooking, there we are again. Isn't it amazing? Can you think of anything else that is with you so often and almost all the time? Cooking us is important. Sometimes you have to help us get cleaner. When you cook us, you're killing nasty bacteria and we can clean up our act. Mm. Still, too many children in the world become ill because they drank polluted water. It makes me sad. But most of the work we do is good. As long as you keep us clean and don't use more of us than you need. And sometimes we don't mind when you also have some fun with us. We don't want to be serious all the time. Keep your community clean, recycle and do not litter. You will actually save water. Get your friends and families to be water conscious as well. You can make the rules in your house. In many countries, the water is of excellent quality, so there, there is no need for drinking bottled water. Drink the water from the tap and save your environment from plastic bottles. If you do buy bottled water, reuse the bottles or buy bigger ones. Splish splash, I was taking a bath Long about a Saturday night yeah. Rubbed up, just relaxing in the tub Thinking everything was alright Well, I stepped out the tub Put my feet on the floor I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door And in a splish splash, I jumped back in the bath Well, I was out and know there was a party going on There was a fishing and a splash Reeling with the feeling Always 
Please remember that the story of water never ends. Water was there at the dawn of time, always in a perfect cycle of flowing in the seas and rivers, raising up to the skies and then falling down on earth again to flow through all living things, nature and products. Only to return to the seas and the rivers again and again and again. And did you know that from all the water in our planet, only 1% is fresh water that is available to us humans? So remember, the cycle of water deserves our respect, always and everywhere. Okay, here we are again. Well, well we're, we're nearly, nearly at, at the end, end of our story. You know, Splish, with every new day, I get the feeling that we're on our way to work. We fall down from the skies, float in the rivers, and suddenly we're at work. For people, animals, plants, things. I hope they appreciate what we're doing all the time. Well, Splash, every drop counts. They know that by now. And if they still treat us bad, we'll just splash them. Bye!